Hey, what's going on, y'all? So in this video, we're going to be talking about combining Move AI with Face Good Helmets. Now, one of the very first things that I asked Move AI was how does Move AI perform with helmets? And they said with their testing, it works perfectly. But with that being said, what I ended up doing was actually doing my own test. So what you're looking at right now is me wearing a Face Good Helmet, mocap helmet, using move ai now this first one that you're looking at uses four iphones only and then after that i'm going to show you with five so let's go ahead and play this real quick it's not going to have any audio uh, but it's just going to kind of show you me pretending like i'm rapping i have my mocap helmet on already you can see on the head and it's actually doing a pretty darn good job i don't know to be honest how this works because my head is definitely covered and as you can see, the camera in front is also covering the iPhone camera. So I'm pretty impressed that it is able to motion capture my head, even with a helmet on using four cameras. Now, if you are a member to my YouTube channel, I'm going to let y'all download this FBX right now. I've been dropping a lot of mocaps in there lately. If you're a channel, if you're a squad member on my YouTube channel, go check it out. But I'm going to have you download this. It's already retargeted to a UE4 mannequin, so you can just retarget it pretty easily. But man, super impressed with this. Uh, in the next example we're going to do, this is more like a short film just standing and moving my head around while actually performing lines. So I actually recorded the facial animation as well, along with the Move AI body animation in this one. And I'm going to show you the result here in a second as well. But I want to show you the raw data straight out of Move AI real quick. And again, this is with five cameras. I am wearing a black t-shirt, so that was a bad move on my part. But I think overall it still did a pretty darn good tracking here and again i'm moving my hands i didn't do the finger tracking you can actually see his head moving like that up and down now i did a lot of exaggerated head movement here just to see if it can capture it and i think it did a pretty darn good job it's crazy, man. But obviously, um, I did just get this. I did just get this in the mail today. So I'm going to be testing it out with this new D2 helmet from Facegood. But man, it's pretty cool. But but yeah, that that's that's pretty much it. This is a really quick test to see if I can kind of, you know, use a mocap helmet with Move AI in a wrapping scenario and just a standing scenario but yeah that being said i created a short skit using this mocap right now really just trying to give y'all a preview of the future i can already see it man an avatar cooking television show so enjoy johnny johnny you have been my favorite this entire competition but this dish is unacceptable as you know i grew up in a third world country johnny and i used to eat dirt for fun when i got bored okay and this right here tastes worse than dirt if plastic had an asshole it would taste like this chicken that you cook johnny you left it in the oven for about seven business days johnny this is what happens when you leave chicken in the oven for seven business days. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much it for the video. I posted a picture of this skit right here just to see if people can guess what he was mad about, but obviously nobody got it. It was too hard. Uh, he was actually mad about burnt chicken. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know if you have any questions. Like always, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all later. Peace out.